rivers are the lifeline of Indian civilization. The Godavari is one such river that has played a pivotal role in shaping the history of India and has helped it evolve as an agricultural nation. Starting from a trickle from the lips of a cow at Trimbak, Godavari forms one of the largest basins of 3,12,812 km per square. As of 2017, over 3,000 million cubic feet of water drained unutilized from Godavari River into Bay of Bengal. This was not acceptable when thousands of farmers face irrigation problems and the state faces drought-like conditions every year. To save this huge amount of water and divert it towards the irrigation and drinking needs of Andhra Pradesh, the idea of Polavaram project was envisioned. The contractor for the project is Mega Engineering and Infrastructures Limited. MEIL has also completed many other irrigations and lift irrigation projects including Patisima project which made it to the Limka Book of World Records and Kaleswaram lift irrigation project, currently the world's largest multi-stage lift irrigation project. Polavaram project is a multi-purpose irrigation national project on the Godavari River in the west and east Godavari district in Andhra Pradesh. The project has been accorded national project status by the Union Government of India. Another significant component of the Polavaram project is the 960 megawatt power plant that has been built towards the corner of Earth Come Rock Dam. The central government assigned the responsibility of building this power project to AP Jenko, a state-owned power generation company, and 422 crore rupees order has been backed by LNT Geostructure Private Limited for the construction of a cut-off wall in the hydroelectric power project. LNT Geostructure Private Limited is a subsidiary of LNT and is focused on ground engineering business with the expertise to design and execute deep foundations like large diameter piling, diaphragm walls, and cutoff walls. Cutoff wall is nothing but a barrier underneath the dam which cuts water seepage from upstream to downstream. The cutoff wall will arrest seepage of water from upstream to downstream and thus will improve the stability of the dam. The construction of 1.5 km wide cutoff wall across River Godavari at Polavaram to construct Rakkam Earthfield Dam on that cutoff wall. The depth of the cutoff wall is about 100 meters. The width that is nothing but the thickness is about 1.5 meter wide. So the total concrete quantity that is plastic concrete quantity required to complete this plastic concrete cutoff wall is about 130,000 cubic meters. It is a mammoth job. In addition to power generation, this hydroelectric power project is also expected to supply water to 0.72 million acres of land for irrigation and 23.44 TMC of drinking and industrial water to Vishakapatnam. Polavaram Dam is said to have the highest discharge capacity in the world. At 50 lakh cusecs, it is said to surpass even the Three Gorges Dam of China one of the largest dams in the world, having discharge capacity of 4 lakh cusecs. The spillway, built with 48 gates, is said to have the highest discharge capacities. These gates are operated by hydraulic technology. 96 hydraulic cylinders for 48 gates are manufactured in Germany. After the spillway is constructed, two temporary coffer dams are to be built to the sides of the main dam to divert the flow of the river water. These coffer dams will be constructed by jet grouting crosses inside the ground. This is a mammoth project and undoubtedly involved overcoming several challenges. The unique challenge in this project was trenching inside the sand and also embedding this plastic cut up concrete wall into a hard rock of about depth 1 meter. The another important challenge what we anticipated during the execution of the project was collapse of topsoil. To complete a dam this big needs a Herculean conviction. Modern technologies have been used in executing this gigantic project. We had three numbers of trench cutters. Each cutter was costing about 25 to 30 crores 
and two numbers of grafts and we had two numbers of plastic concrete producing batching plants and totally about 50 people worked in that project in that 50 people 10 of them were from germany so we used expertise from india as well as from germany to execute this very very unique project with machines worth crores and men working day and night almost double the work has been done in the pandemic lnt geostructure learned a lot as a technology new technology and also this cutoff wall is first of its kind in india polavaram is asia's biggest dam being constructed the project would help eradicate the drought from the geography of the state. Polavaram has become the lifeline of Andhra Pradesh, providing an added benefit to almost all the river basins of Anantapur district in Srikakulam. The project is expected to be completed by December 2021. With the mission to sustain thousands of lives around the region, Polavaram is slowly proving to be a real boon to the state and the lifeline of Andhra Pradesh.